Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, All About Software. My name is Uriel Hernandez and in this video we are going to start with Oracle Service Boss. Here we have our whistle, that's the whistle that we created in the last video, Oracle SOA Hello World. We are going to start by creating an application, Service Boss application. We are going to name it OSP Tutorial. Then we need to create the project, Service Boss project. Service Boss project, okay. We are going to name it Projects. Then we need to create some folders. This new folder is gonna be like our project we are gonna um, use these files hello world whistle and hello world xsd we created uh, these two files in our past videos so i'm going to let you the your else in in the description of the video first of all we need to copy these files into our project projects hello world right here okay we update our project now here we have the two files Okay, here we have the whistle of the first web service. I will also let you the the video in the description so that you don't miss anything. We need to create a proxy folder. Now we need to create proxy service the name is gonna be hello world ps we need to select whistle then we need to select our hello world whistle click next and this is gonna be our URL. This is gonna be our endpoint, so let's copy this. Since we are using the local host, this is gonna be our endpoint. You can change that URL, you can change the name, so you type the name that you want click finish the wizard create also the pipeline so we are going to rename the pipeline now we have to move the pipeline we need to create a folder named pipeline. Remember OSB is just organization in our files, so we need to specify a folder for every file type.
finally this new folder business service then we need to create business service type hello world bs and we need to select again the hello world whistle So that means that our um, input message and our output message, they are going to have the same structure. Then we need to provide the endpoint that we, that we got in the um, SOA Hello World video. This whistle is already deployed, so it's active. Click finish. In the transport section, you can see the endpoint URL. We have our pipeline. Then we need to add a pipeline pair node. In this part, we are going to handle the request and in this part we are going to handle all the response then we need to add a routing message in this section service we are going to add our business service hello world bs okay that's our operation say hello as you can see in the whistle that's the name or our operation click save okay i'm going to use a log We're going to print what enters in our uh, service and our service response. The response body. And uh, in the content, we need to specify the expression, the variable that we're going to print. Hello response type. And severity, we need to add error severity so that we can see the messages in the log. Okay, we created these three files business service, pipeline, and proxy service. As you can see, pipeline is based on the whistle file proxy service is also based on the whistle file and business service the same is based on the whistle file we created these three files and these two files are the ones that we created in our last videos don't worry i will let you all the information in the description right click on our project uh, we are going to deploy if we select resource we can deploy just one folder or some folder if you select project you need to deploy all the folders in the project We choose the name OSB, OSB Hello World. Then export. We clear 
our WebLogic server log. Okay, we need to create session. We are in our service boss console. You need to select this icon, import jar file. We are going to pick our jar file. In this section, you can see all the files that are going to be imported. So click finish and then activate. Import hello world. Activate. Okay, now it's deployed our hello world project. Okay, that's awkward. We have duplicated our files. I think it's a bug, a middleware bug. We are using the latest version, so it should be a bug. Uh, we need probably we should probably install a patch later or um, something like that we are going to do in some of the videos we are going to install a patch so if you use the ones the files that are in the folders you don't need to worry we are going to test the um, proxy service That's the um, whistle or our proxy service. You can paste it in the browser. So here we have our OSB whistle and our SOA whistle. Basically, we are just virtualizing our SOA service okay we type our request USB test 1 execute okay here we have our response As you can see, we got our response. OSB includes some headers, don't worry, we are going to show you how to remove the headers. But here we have completed our first virtualization successfully. So congratulations, let's see in the Enterprise Manager the SOA instance. Open our people. Here we have the request, uh, concatenation part and the end part. Okay, perfect. Now we need to, to open our pipeline. If you run your pipeline, you are going to have some trace in the OSB part. So it will be easy for debugging your OSB project. We are going to send the request document response document and metadata document okay here we have information trace we expand this and we have all the variables body header inbound variables and the message ID 
in the road note section we can see when we wrote to the enterprise manager we expand that we can see the body and in this part we can see the response Two hundred response code, so it's okay. Our hello response and all the information that we need. So and here we have our uh, the print of our log. The request and the response printed in our log We are going to check our people. We can see the start. We can see the concatenation. And we can see the end of our people. Okay. That's it for this video. We are successfully completed our first virtualization in Oracle Service Boss. Remember, leave it a thumbs up. If you like the video, leave a comment, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. We will see you in the next video. 